I want to discuss on something different. On something. Something some of us might not want to be hearing. But something that is so reasonable for a child of God to hear. So that when you go home. Any church where you are into. You'll be able to know. If you are in the right place. Or in the wrong place. Whenever I'm opportune to travel to our branches. Most especially the ones in the U.S. Whenever I preach on this topic, they will always say, Daddy, please don't go home. Stay in the U.S. We need to hear more of this. Because here, they don't teach more of this. They teach more of how you sow a seed. Buy a mantle, put it on your neck. The miracle is going to work for you. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to discuss on a topic I titled, Idols in the Church. Idol in the church. Touch your neighbor. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Now a days. Now a days. Out of ignorance. Men and women. Are worshipping idol. Unaware. Amen. Amen. And one of the things I want to. Make you understand that. That those who are introducing these idols are not fake men of God. Understand this. They are not what? Fake men of God. They are what? They are real what? First of all, what is idol or what is idol worship? Who can tell me what idol worship is all about? Who knows what is idol worship? You would not know. When you worship, why you would not know? What is idol? What is idol? Huh? Carve image. Okay. I take your explanation. What is idol? Idol. Sir, image. Okay, worshiping an image. Yeah. Yes. What is wrong with you people here? Uh -huh. Due to God. Say it again. Any item. Any item. Any item or image one are called respect that is due to God is an idol. That's that's a good definition. He didn't say just carved image. He said any item, including phone. <laughs> That's a perfect definition. Any item you prefer to than this God has become what? An idol worship. I want to say this so that you don't ignorant, ignorantly make hell instead of making heaven. And when you get to the hell, then during the judgment time when your works will be tested and you will be so shocked that all the church you went to all on the school you had out of ignorance you went to hell. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10 to Revelation 21 verse 8 Check me very fast. First Corinthians chapter 6, 9 to 10. And it says, And it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Now these are men that are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Be not deceived, brother. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Now, hear this. That's where I'm picking my reference today. A lot of people will not go to heaven, but I'm picking my reference from idolaters. Those who worship idols. Yes. No adulterers. No adulterers. No effeminate. Uh -huh. No abusers of themselves with mankind. 
Go to Revelation 21 8. Revelation 21 verse 8 says, mm -hmm. But the fearful mm -hmm. and unbelieving mm -hmm. and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters mm -hmm. and all liars shall have their part in the lake of in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Those who are idol worshippers, we end up where? Church, we end up where? In hell, fire. Now, I, I want to say this. When you want to talk of idol worshipping, idol worshipping is just like our brother said, he said, it's when you are called respect or worship any item at all, I call them glory or whatever that belongs to God. Worshipping something apart from God. And when we want to talk about worship, a lot of people do not understand what is called worship. And today, men of God, pastors of different kinds, has turned themselves to what? Has turned themselves to what? Idol. You go to a church, brother. Praise and worship will be going on. Pastor will be in the office. He's not doing anything that time. He wait, wait, wait. At that time, the church members are raising their hands, kneeling and bow before God. He will begin to walk in in the church with his protocol, left and right. When you look at him, they say, Pastor is coming. And if you time is not taken, you see the worshiper or whoever that is leading the praise and worship will equally forget himself. I say, Papa, wait. And that time you are bringing down the king of kings, the lord of love, the man that made the heavens and earth use heavens as his throne and earth as his footstool. And somebody will just woke up from nowhere. Began to make himself idol. And the funniest part of it is that even we the church members has become idolaters. Some of us today, when your pastor is not in the church, you will not go to church. Now, today church, you won't be interested in Papa is not in the church. I do worship. I do. Where is Papa? He traveled. Don't mind, I'm church here. You know, go switch. My brother, have you come to worship God or your pastor? And some of us that are having this issue do not even understand that this is one of the most things God is jealous about. He's a jealous God if you don't know. Know it now. He's what? A jealous God. Do not worship any other God except from me. And that's why I was watching one video two, two three days back. A man was coming into a crusade ground, brother. I've been opportune to minister in crusade ground that has thousands. You won't see space. People who have believed in my grace are millions across the world. But when I'm coming into the crusade ground, you wouldn't have the one coming. Some of you have witnessed that. Some of you have watched some of my programs in abroad, in South Africa, in Swaziland, in in America, in so many countries of the world, you will understand that nobody will know that it is that prophet, no, so the action son of action God that is coming, you will know. The too much crowd you will see behind me might be my PA because sometimes humanity might need a personal assistance. Hello? Or maybe one other person, if. Then even if the crowd becomes so much excess that I need maybe from human protection, you will not see them as mafian securities. It will be men of God like me. Hello? I was watching that video. A man of God was coming. In. And somebody, what attracted me to watch that video was that somebody said, even the president of our country do not have level of security. I said, who is this? My brother, if you watch that video, to be a pastor, they hungry you. 
to be a pastor. Kai. Even President Trump do not have such security. Chinekeme. And I, I understand how it works. I understand how it works. Because as a level you will get to, men will want to, you know, push you into do things that will make you an idol and you don't know that you have become an idol. People worship. The only last time, I think it's 2013 or 2012, was the last time in my hometown, people saw me with uh, police security going with me. Because I discovered in 2012, I was, I was kidnapped. Hello? When the kidnappers took me to the bush in an uncompleted building, I discovered that police could not save me, but God saved me. They are AA-47. Carried along. They began to escort me and became my escort. That thing is not place. That thing is the finger of God. And I've discovered that eternal security that can guide a man is the finger of God. Since then, you nobody know, can tell you that in fact, if I'm coming, you wouldn't know who is coming. That's the simple truth. You can only know him when he has gone to the altar and they say that crazy man, Nahim. Nahim, but you know, see us. I want to minister in a church. That church is over 10,000. And I wear, I wear a jean. That jean self, the down, don't tear. We wear this palm slippers. And one bongo on sleep. Bongo, bongo on sleep. Other men of God who we are scared in that place who are just doing if they touch this person they will do like this. I didn't even know. It was one of my boys that went with me. Ah, that's smaller, right? You were the one that went with me. He said that they, when you were sitting there they would touch themselves they would do like this they would laugh. So when the overseer of the church decided to introduce me and give me a microphone, hear me, what makes you is not what you're wearing. What makes you is what is inside of you. Somebody called me yesterday, I don't know who is that. He watched my outpost in Suleiman when I spoke about Suleiman and the private judge. He said to me that he was shocked to see the level of impartation I've done in people's life. But that he was calculating the kind of clothes I was wearing in the car in Lepan. I wear something. He said, he said that clothes, no cost. No cost. He said, for the life you've affected, he said, sir, you are the kind of person. He began to pray for me or for no. He said, you are the kind of person with me. I started laughing. Amen, church. In that church, when I started ministering, I lifted my voice. Amara <laughs> Hony chem no so Amara no rapu begi Amara we galo solo neba Hello waga mara e na chine Somebody say professor Lare bosha Then I began to prophesy Makata bosha when it comes to the woman town, I said, the Lord told me you can't pay your child school fees this place. I said, how much? He told me. I said, now, 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 now. now. 
There's one wristwatch I was wearing, six hundred dollars. I remove it. I say, make, make I dash. I call one of them. They say, oh, yeah. all of them are wearing lava to me. Take prosperity is not how you appear. Prosperity is the legacy you shall live in another person's life. I do worshiping has taken over everywhere because what people see want in so many churches is what? Material. Now let me shock you. There are so many people sorry brother their phone has become an idol. They cannot do without phone. Even as pastor is talking, they are going through their WhatsApp. You will make heaven or you will make heaven. I'm not joking. You are in a moment to worship God and you cannot keep something for a moment of worship. Do you know that there is a way you love a car and God will not like it? There are some cars. Inside your house you have a Range Rover. You now have smaller camera. On a Sunday you drive the smaller camera. What is the Range Rover doing? Ha, we use it for bigger parties. Chineke. When they want to go for an evangelism, you can't drive that your car. Instead of you never join them in bus where the, the bus they rented. You forget that it is he who give it those things to you. Supposed to be whom you will use it to worship. The way you pamper the car, God does not like it. You prefer your wealth. To God, you cannot make heaven. I'm telling you so. Kai, take me to Isaiah chapter 2 verse 8. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 8. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 8. Yes. Their land also is full of idols. He said, huh? Go ahead. They worship the work of their own hands. They worship the works of their own, what? own hands. Of their own hands. That which their own fingers have made. See? Ignorantly, you began to worship what God has given to you. Ignorantly, you began to worship what your fingers has made. Ignorantly, you began to worship things that you do not suppose to worship. That whether it is ignorant or not, it will not prevent you not to go to hell. Hello? Whether ignorant or not, it will not what? Somebody came to this branch and I was preaching. He sat down. He started looking everywhere. He started looking everywhere. So the way the person was looking, I started laughing in my mind. You know why he's looking like that? You know why? You see, that kind of person that looked like that has gone through my profile. You have seen me with different presidents of different countries. You have seen me with different governors. He has interpreted my work. Hello? Now, he came to a place. They said it's one of his own. And he's not seen. You know those tall aces? I don't know the name. Those. You know those aces now? Standing AC, factory AC, I think that's what it's called. I bust laugh. Because people do not understand. Jesus was born in the world. In the manger. Does it stop him to be a king? <laughs> I want to see a particular governor that is from South South. The first day I met him, he will look at me from my shoe to my head. That was the time I gave American prophecy who will be the next president after Obama. I gave that prophecy six years. You know, because of how long I give prophecies, people wait, sit down and wait. Has that, have that prophet spoken? Has he said something? They want to hear what he says. Because of how long the prophecies come. We, we don't do predictions. God speaks and we say what it is. 
Prediction is when you see two people contesting, you now uh, tum bum tum bum. That's not prophecy. So when the person came to see me, he said to me, Daddy, what is going on? He said, nothing is going on. Is it not conducive enough for you to worship? He said, yes, yes, yes. I said, what next do you want? He said, I beg, pray for me. <laughs> and I prayed for him. And we had his testimonies. Let me tell you. There's one thing I do. Do you know none of these presidents or governors will tell you that I have ever opened my mouth and said I need 100 million? I will not do that. I will not do that. You are expected to know what. I was I was telling you people that one of them called me and said that the I've given an instruction for something like this to be given to you. And I was there on Monday. When I got there on Monday, I was there. He called the commission of land. He said, come, come, come. Have you allocated the place for church? He said, do it so. And if I tell you what it is, you will, you will shake. Because even if you ask me to buy such property, I don't get the money. He said, my daddy needs to live in my town. I said, I never finished living in Lagos. I never even finished living in my state. I go come and relocate. He said, no, no, no. Even if you don't live there, have a house. Anytime you come and preach, you come and sleep there. You, I won't ask you for anything. Even this, our son, that by the grace of God, he's now won election and he is now a member of us of assembly. We never hear me one day pick my phone and say, son, I need 500,000. I won't do that. Everybody, our grace has promoted my conscience is expected to know what to do. What? What to do? One of my son that's taken over here in Lagos, he came, he said, Daddy, don't worry, I want to be so-so thing. And the way it is, it's, it's like the, my name is there, but this time I want to do something, but I won't tell you. But that thing I will do, I will do it in this particular branch. I said, okay, no problem. Don't tell me, go your house, go your house. But I know a lot of prophets of my colleague that will go to you and say, God say you should change my car. Now lie, now lie. God knows anything. Now lie. God knows anything. God knows anything. Don't mind them. They just don't want to make sure that opportunity will disappear like that. Amen, church. I do worship you. There's one that take me to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19. This one provokes me. This one provokes me a lot. Ephesians chapter 5, 19. Ephesians 5, verse 19. Hear what God says. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns. When you want to praise God, you should do what? Praise Him through what? Psalms and what? Hymns. Do you know in so many churches today, they know they sing hymns. You know what you will hear? Boom. Oh yes, Jesus is here. If you want to dance, you come and dance. Oh yeah. And you will see, they'll be clapping. God is about to punish the devil. Devil has taken over the church in idol worship. Yes. And spiritual songs. He says spiritual. Spiritual what? Songs. You know the songs they sing now is no longer spiritual, brother. I don't know. That is why even your children. Do you know when you watch a worldly movie, you are worshipping the God has the grace of that movie. Are you aware? Are you aware? I don't want to hear this one. There's some movies you will watch that at the end of the day, the meaning is teaching you how you can do evil. The finger of God is not in that project. It is demonic. Some of the worldly songs, I don't want to mention the name, so that bloggers will not carry me now and said, I mentioned so-so person in Nigeria. So the person will say, why is prophet attacking my gift? He said, all those sons, brother, all those sons, all those sons, who are they here? All those sons. The other day, uh, the other day, I, I, I was, I was, there was one son uh, uh, that was talking about sex. Kerewa, kerewa, kerewa. Somebody was dancing like this. I said, what is this? 
and the music was going. You go hear this one. You go, you go, you go. and the people gonna do it. And you allow your children, they watch and they dance. Something is by such songs. Hello. If you cannot challenge me by telling me, hear this. If you cannot challenge me by telling me that there is God, then if there is God, then there is principle to worship God. Except you will come and tell me that there is no God. Fine. Let's believe. Or let's disagree. But if you agree with me that there is God, then understand that there are principles to maintain a relationship with who? With God. There's one they will be singing. There's one they sang uh, something baby don't like. I don't, I don't know the song, but it's, it's very popular too. Anything baby, anything sleep. You see somebody will wear, woman will wear pants. No, America called trousers pants. Underwear. But underwear is the normal pants women wear here. You see somebody will wear it, wear only bra and do like this. And somebody will wear eyeglass. They do hair like this. You see your children go to dance. That song does not give glory to God, brother. He said, sing and speak the praises of God through psalms, hymns, and what? Spiritual songs. He didn't say a krewa. Today, men of God invite comedians in their altar. Hi. We don't say comedians should not do comedy. But respect the altar of God. I've read it so many times in the scripture where it is forbidden to bring jester in the sanctuary of what? Of God. Comedians can make people laugh. There's something they will say me to have a laugh. Not be so. But that place you see as the holy of the holies. You climb here. You begin to talk. You hear. You get a person where do this as he lifted his hands. The man for Jakarta. You are abusing an anointing God has released on somebody's life to deliver someone. You see them even use Jesus to do caricature. Now in Facebook, they don't call it Jesus again. They call it uh, Jesus. C-H-I-S-O-S. Just because you want to have followers, you want people to love you, Take me to him 110. Let me remind you if I've forgotten. Him 110. Him 110. Being that key, I think I can carry it on that key. Him 110. Him 110. Aha. This world is not my home. Yes, sir. I'm just a passing through. Hey. My treasures are laid on. Oh. Somewhere beyond the blue, oh, the edges back on me from heaven's open door. Aha, and I can feel a hope in this world. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, you know, oh, yes, I have no friend. Like you. Thank you, Father. In heaven's not my home. Oh, yes. Then, Lord, what will I do? Thank you, Lord. The angels are coming. Oh, from heaven. Oh, yes. I can feel a hope. Oh, it is this one. Oh, yes. I have a love Thank you, Lord. Just up in glory. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't expect to stop until I see her. She's waiting for me. He never Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Just over in glory land. Ha <laughs> ha. We're living. Oh yes, the saints on every hand. I shout in victory. Oh yes. Whatsoever you are doing, you should remember there is a place you are going. You must remember you are going somewhere. And that is why, brother, you must have to be aware when you are worshipping idols. Knowing and what? Unknowingly. You will go to some church. You go to some church. I know some of your, uh, uh, some churches do this. As man of God comes close, all the people on the front will do what? Will do what? They will rise up. I preach in so many churches like that. I'm not saying that doctrine is not good. If you ask them why, they will tell you because you're speaking the word, which is God. They have to respect God. I laugh. A lot of them, the motion behind it is not respecting the word that proceeded out of their mouth. The most behind is, is who are you that will be sitting when the papa is focusing you doing what? Talking to you. So for those of them that have such kind of motive behind them, it's a sin. It's an idol worship. It's an idol worship. When both of us we make heaven, at that place, nobody will know if my name is prophet. No, so, they call me brother, so they call you brother Ifani. All of us are the same. God. It's a land that there is one of him that says there is a land that is fairer. That what him is that? What him is that? What him is that? You need to get yourself prepared because this idol worshiping has made a lot of men of God they no longer know when evil or Satan is speaking through them. You must have to identify that. Yes. You mean level? Let me hear you. Change that key is very low. There is a land that is fairer than the Oh! And by faith we can see it afar. Oh, yes! For the Father went over the way. Oh! To prepare us a dwelling place. Let me hear you say in the sweet. Oh! By and by, oh, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, oh yes, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. Ha! We shall sing on the beautiful shore. Sorry. The made us of the blessed. And our spirit shall sorrow no more. Not a sign for the blessing in the sweet. Oh, oh yeah. We shall be on the beautiful shore. In the sweet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh yes. To our powerful Father, we will offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love, yes, sir, and the blessings that hallow in the sweet. Oh, yes, by and by. In the 
prepared to make this heaven. It's going to be a sweet place. It's going to be a place you will not regret rain. Prosperity of the earth should not overcome thy heart. What should dwell in thy soul is that at the end there is a place we are going. Amen and amen. There is a particular governor that is doing Thanksgiving that he is completing his eight years. And the news I'm hearing is that he wants to invite me. If I tell you what I've prepared in my mind to say, eh, they will not invite me again. They want to hear me to talk about Thanksgiving. But I've made up my mind to tell them that all of you, all of you that are preparing to contest President 2023, that you don't need to die tomorrow. <laughs> I said, let me tell you, Jesus might decide to come now. It's better you come up politics from your head till when the time comes. I don't prepare my mouth, sharpen them. If they hear this one now, they watch my program today, they won't invite me again. I go say no na kosam, no na make me talk on today. Hallelujah, church. Let me say something. I don't I do worshiping in the church has gone so big that we do no longer know that we are no longer worshiping God. Some churches, as I'm talking to you, is now a church of competition of who wears what he wears. I won't mention the church. A lot of them. Are you aware? Most especially the, the women. Competition. My dear, change this thing now. You didn't see what Mama Agnes wear yesterday. Change this thing. Change. I need. There's one day, there, it's a new lesson now. They sell it for uh, at least one yard. 18,000. Honey, do this thing. Then when you see the mamas coming in, from the gate, you will notice that, hey, Abba. Oh, oh, Pandibira Church. They come to church. Hey, hey, give me a hand. Nay, the sweetie. Oh, Pandibira Church. Assuming rapture takes place, going anywhere. Eh? I'm not going anywhere. Because even when they want to come and give offering, I'm telling you truly, as they are dancing, he will be using his, his or her inner eye to be looking himself. But that's true. That's very true. That's very true. That's very true. Hi. Let a spirit of consciousness of heaven come upon you. Say amen here now. Since my grandmother died last year, I buried her this year. I have not been too comfortable because so many of the property I earned, she bought it. So she left those property, hand over to me. That means I would die if Jesus didn't come and leave it for somebody else. No, be so. Ha. So where she is now, she don't even know if I've sold them. If I want to sell them, she can't stop me. Is that correct? If I want to die, she can't stop me. Is that correct? No matter what you hustle on earth, one day you shall. So prepare of heaven when you run your race. And this I do worship in the church has used that opportunity to talk to men of God. Do you know that Satan speaks to men of God? No, I didn't say Satan speaking to a native doctor. Do you know Satan speaks to a man of God? No, no, no. So take me to, I think Matthew 16, 21, 20 to 25. I don't know if I'm correct. Matthew 16, 21 to 25. Matthew 16 from 21. Yes. From that time forth, uh -huh. Jesus, from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples. Uh -huh. Jesus began to show his disciples, yes. That how that he must go on to Jerusalem uh -huh. and suffer many things of the elders. Jesus was telling his disciples, look at what I shall suffer. I'm telling you my future. And the chief priests and the scribe and be killed and be re and raised again the third day. Hear this. Jesus said, then after they me, 
What will happen? I shall be killed, but there is hope because I shall do what? Raise what? So that was his future, and his future was bright with the hope of what? Resurrection. So what happened? What did one then of his... Peter took him. One of the apostles known as Peter, one of the respected and best friends to Jesus, said something. And began to rebuke him. He began to rebuke Jesus. Saying, openly. Be it far from thee, Lord. He said, it's not going to happen, brother. This shall not be unto thee. Now, I want you to hear the response of Jesus to Peter. What did he say to him? But he turned uh -huh. and said unto Peter. Jesus turned and said unto Peter, his apostle. Get thee behind me, Satan. Did you hear what he called him? Did you hear what he called him? Jesus looked at his apostle and said what? Get ye behind me who? Satan. Kai. Thou art an offense unto me. Kai. For thou savourest nor mm -hmm. the things that be of God, uh -huh. but those that be of men. Let me tell you, I have seen a lot of people, eh? they will come to me. They will say, that day I left my church. I said, why did you leave your church? He said, I was in the dream. I saw where my pastor was tying me on the tree. I said, that is all. He said, yes. I said, hey, 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 hey. That's why, yes. That's why. I said, I went to the minister to Satan, you can be a faithful man of God and Satan will just come and disconnect you from this man. He will just say, this man is pointing acid in your head. Now your best friend though, then the next time you come to church, instead of you to sit close, you still sit far. They look at Satan. Satan has come to steal and do what? Kill and do what? So he has killed a lot of relationships. I have seen a lot of people live as a new minister of God because of so-called revelation. I saw in a trance. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. And as I pray again, the thing repeated, oh, Satan can take, if Satan was not afraid of Jesus, who is God, and Jesus went to the mountain, immediately he finished, communicated with his father, coming down, Satan now wear his clothes, and put his hand in his pocket, and went to him, hey, hey, Alpha. Hey, you, you need to start worshiping me, also. I go, Look, look now. You don't know, like this place. I will give it to you. He was not afraid of God to speak to God. Then who are you? You say you're a man of God. Whereby your righteousness is just like a fitter before God. Anybody you're working with that you know him from in and out. No matter the dream. I lie, I lie. I, I, I've studied this Satan. Eh? I don't study him. Read him like book. He can do anything to discourage you. He can do anything to discourage you. At that time, Satan, Jesus said, I know inside the heart of Jesus, he knew it was not Peter. Hello? He just called him by his name. He said, my friend, hey, you, Satan, go, go behind me, my friend. Did he sack Peter? No. Because he knew. At that time, something has taken over. Something spoke. The idol worship was, when I started seeing so clear in terms of vision, I noticed that there were a lot of testimonies. Before I would say something, I was running ministry. A sitting service in Kilo Branch is 3,600. A sitting service. Then the, the miracles was much. I've not started church. I, I was like, one day I said, God, I'm suspecting something. There are few people, their miracles are not coming. Their prophecies are not coming. But you spoke to me. And there are a lot, their own is coming. It came to a time, they were even... Uh, Coaching me that I was only giving genuine profit to those who gives me money. Because a lot of them was making money. They were rich. I went back to pray. And the Lord said to me, it's not every voice you hear is my voice. And I said to him, how then do I identify when you speak to me? He said, hear me. I want to teach you this. It might probably work for you. He said to me, whenever I appear to you in a vision, he said, you will have an identity of a cross. Or if it is a son that appeared before you, or whatsoever that appears before you. Before that thing speak to you, he says, son, say to that thing, you are welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure the Christ is involved. He said, if it is from me, 
at the mention of that name that the angel will bow and raise his face and speak to me. Kai. He said, but if you mention the name, the thing flee and reappear that I should rebuke it. Then I said to him, then if it is voice, he said, he said, you should be very watchful. My voice is always coming so quiet. But if he appears like an angel of light and speak to you, tell him, I hear thy voice, O oh Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, if that voice go permanent silent and reappeared in a long time. And I said, no lie, no lie, no lie, no lie. And that was why I started prophesying and they were saying anything I do then was coming to... That was the time the rumor says that I went to Ghana and carried Juju. My brother, that time I never go to Ghana. Nobody last three, four years. All of, all of us go to Ghana at the same time. Some people are inviting me if I can do, come to India. I say, anytime I'm going to India, I will post this. Send her to that. They go to India first. Though. Hey, because of the level of idol worship in the church nobody knows when God is talking again I want to pray for a believer this morning the Lord will give you the sense and knowledge and wisdom of understanding to realize when you are doing something wrong you know the most powerful sin is not the sin you see it's unseen and unknowing hello I will just wake you up now I said brother you just sinned against God you said I didn't do anything ah, I said brother the Lord said you there is a sin you said I didn't do anything and the sin might be simple it might be that at the entrance gate of the church maybe I pasted switch off your phone or put it in silence you know it's an order and I'm a representative of God in the altar. When you disobey and leave it on, and when you come into the church, the phone rings, you go out, the phone rings and go out, is a sin before God, not even just before men. Is that correct? You know why? Because you saw the instruction before you come into the temple, put it. If you didn't see it, fine. But you saw it and... Now, but naturally, what you were putting as a sin was fornication, uh, purposely lying, you know, all those kind of things. Then you have seen it, say no. Then rapture came, you remain with the fornicators. Ah, you, I go to church every day. I, I do this every day. How come look at this prostitute didn't go and me didn't go? Because your own was unknowing. And that's why when you want to pray, brother, mostly pray for the what? For the what? Unknowing sin. I pray that unknowing sin will not stop you to make heaven. The grace of mercy. You know, the Bible said that God said he will forgive whoever he wants to. May you be among the sons he will love and he will forgive you at any given time. I pray for you today that because because you've gotten the idea of what is worshipping God ignorantly, making some people an idol unaware, I pray that God will give you the grace to overcome such sins and make you to have the spirit and consciousness to make heaven to the glory of God in Jesus' name. If you're blessed today, can you celebrate this God? Let me hear you. If you know you are blessed today, I say celebrate God, let me hear you. Hallelujah.